Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Apple released the iPhone 15 today, or they announced it. Next week is going to be available, yada, yada, yada. They did something in, in their release announcement video that, what, like, I was like, hmm, why? I got a bunch of questions about, and it will talk about how religious our secular society is and where, how we can reason through this as Christians, even as non-Christians, to be aware of them. It just caught my attention. It got my apologetic uh, spidey sense tingling in all sorts of ways. So we're going to play it, and then we're going to comment on this. This is not meant to be a review of the new phone or product, anything like that. It, this is commentary on the religious nature or the secular nature or whatever it may be when it comes to our society. So let's check out this portion of their announcement video. Oh, welcome to Apple. Welcome to Apple. Hi, I'm Tim. How is the weather coming in? Hi, I'm Tim. I'm going to do the office. already carbon neutral, right? Yeah, all yours. At this point, it's, it's getting right. Like everyone's tense. There's a meeting. Tim Cook or uh, uh, Tim Apple. Has, <laughs> Tim, uh, uh, Donald Trump called him Tim Apple, I think. Um, like, you know, there's a, there's this pot flower thing that's, you know, withered or whatever like that. And if you paid attention to what Tim Cook was saying, it's like, welcome to Apple. Where, how's the weather coming? Right. He's rehearsing the speech because supposedly there's a really, really important character that's visiting Apple. <laughs> now she hit it, the plant. She hit the plant. Interesting. Mm. Hmm. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. Mother Nature. Mother Nature, welcome to Apple. How <laughs> You guys, it's Mother Nature. She's an apple, and, and for some reason, she she's a black woman that has an assistant, and she's sassy, and she has an attitude. How is the weather getting in? The weather was however I wanted it to be. Let's cut to the chase. Think clean electricity. Every Apple office, store, and data center runs on clean electricity. Thanks to you and your powerful wind and, and sun. Thanks to you and your powerful wind. You guys, last I heard, we're a pretty secular society. I, I thought we weren't religious. I, I thought companies like Apple were like as secular as, as they come, which they are. And, and there, it's okay for them to be against all sorts of moral claims of conservative religious people. But in their major announcement video that they are helping the planet instead of coming out and saying, hey, the planet is something we share. Um, we got to be responsible. Let's care for the planet. X, Y, and Z, you know, you know what, the way we can think about this properly. Imagine if instead of this woman sitting there, it was Jesus sitting there, and one of the guys said, you've given us this planet, and we want to care for it well. People would lose their minds. This guy essentially is making worship statements to this woman, Mother Nature. Mother Nature is not a thing. Mother Nature is not conscience, conscious. The planet is not conscious. The planet is a thing. We sit there and we talk about like, oh man, we're becoming more enlightened and we're more secular and we've gotten past religiosity and religion and all these things, 
Yet, in reality, we go backwards and we start worshiping the things that have been created instead of the creator. Romans chapter 1. Um, also, over 300 suppliers have committed to using 100%... You guys notice how, like, everybody's terrified of Mother Nature. ...clean, renewable electricity. What's next? Transportation. So cringe. Okay, good. See you next year. Don't disappoint your mother. She's. She's. I mean, seriously, Apple. Like, seriously. That's what you're going to give us? Oh, here's an announcement video. Don't disappoint your mother. Nature is not a conscious deity. And you might like, I, I don't know what the makeup of the religious, whatever, the people in that group are in that room or apples or you know, Mr. Apple, Tim Apple, Tim, Tim Cook. I don't know what their beliefs are. Frankly, I really don't care in regards to this. When Christians get up and we make moral statements, these people flip, flip out. We become bigots. We become whatever X, Y, and Z to them because we're saying religious stuff and they can't get involved in religious stuff because it might offend some people. And you, you straight out put out a worship video of the earth. Don't disappoint your mother. Yeah, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness of it. God's given us a responsibility and the stewardship over the planet, and I think we ought to be good stewards of it. Next time, next time some atheist pops out of the corner and talks about how secular our society is, next time one of these people gets on their soapboxes and talks about how religion does X, Y, and Z, and how Christianity specifically is this and that, show them this video and tell them the religious nature of this video. Very, very cringe, Apple. You could have just come out and said, hey, legally, here are the parameters. Here's what the government's requiring. Here's what we want to do as a company. We want to accomplish X, Y, and Z. And everybody would have been fine with it. But you had to go and give us the most cringe, idolatrous, ancient religious practices from various ancient religions where the earth is worshipped. And things of the earth are worshipped. And yet you think you have the audacity to think that we're a religious society or to have issues with the moral claims that Christians make? Seriously? You can do better. And the correct statement here would be, don't disappoint your father. Thank you.